Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show, and I've got my friend David. David, you there? What is up? How you doing? How, how's everyone doing? Doing Great wonderful. To connect. Cantero is the last name, right? Yes, sir. I pronounced you right. <laughs> now you're out in the west side of the world, right? I am. I'm in California. I'm in San Diego. Um, I like to think I'm as west as it gets, right? Is this as west as it gets? I'm literally on no, the coast No, it's not. Of San Santa Diego. Monica. Santa Monica, they built piers and they're going out further and further. No way. That's as west as it gets then. <laughs> Jumping on a pier, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm in here in San Diego, man. Been here since day one, you know, All 40 right. plus years. Deep roots. Yeah. Haven't looked. But, but I'm fired up about, about the internet and being able to build something globally, you know, online. Different, different times, man. Well, We're on Zoom. So cool Look at us. We're on a digital platform speaking. Look at us. Digital. I've got another guy I talk right. to on a regular basis in South Africa, the other side of the planet. And it's fascinating. Amazing. We can talk in real time like that. And uh, Isn't that crazy? You know, speaking, because I know we're going to get into the whole digital marketing thing. Um, I used to, everybody used to talk about having coffee meetings. And I'm thinking, why are you going to drive all the way across town? That's a half an hour there. You're going to spend six bucks on a coffee, maybe 12 because you're buying them a coffee. Then you're going to take a couple hours and drive all the way back for one coffee meeting. And you can do a selfie, boost it on Facebook, and reach a thousand people with the same message. Man, you know? it's, it's, it's amazing. That's, that's my whole thing, Brad, is, is, yeah, I'm fired up about helping, helping people do that and, and helping them get, you know, in front of the audience that matters the most. So I watched some of your stuff, and I love how you got it simplified. You're, you're leveraging the power of Facebook because their advertising stuff, the algorithms and stuff, they, they, they've recreated quite a database. And then stepping out of that into the automation with the landing pages and all that. It's just real simple. But some people are like, I'm mm -hmm. going to get a Twitter account. I'm going to put it on Pinterest. I'm going to get an Instagram. I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm going to do some TikToks. I'm going to do some YouTube. I'm going to do some, they do too much stuff and spread themselves too thin. You can do that. It's fun. But mm -hmm. to get business going, you need to top of the funnel, get the masses to get into the system. And then and definitely the, I see you doing video all the time. That's how I connected with you because I saw you and there's you with your family and everything. And there's like, I've done work with Michael Mansell. I connected with him because I saw him on video and he showed me him and his wife and his family, mm -hmm. his house. So I know, like, and trust him. Also, there's another guy I met back in 2014, Vincent Ortega Jr. You know mm. that name? No. He, he showed me his family, showed me his parents, showed me his kids. So I, I trusted him. And that's what I think a lot of people don't do is they think by just putting a picture up, that doesn't do it. You need to have mm -hmm. this real interaction stuff. And that's what I really admire what you're doing. You're helping people in real time with your videos and stuff. Would you share a little bit about that? Why are you, why are you doing that? Why are you openly teaching people right on the internet? <laughs> you know what's so crazy is that I've been doing that since 2016, right? Consulting, again, it doesn't matter what type of business it is. M majority of the of, of what I teach is for the small local business owner, like the mom and pop shop that's on the corner, the coffee shop, like you mentioned, or the yoga studio, the gym, the local restaurant, you know, the local restaurant, like I'm talking to these people, the local real estate agent, right? These types of people who depend on clients in their backyard. So I, I it just started in 2016 when I started consulting agents on, on social media but then also also approaching it from a local targeted perspective, meaning if we're not running an ad, like you're in business, like if we're not advertising, we're dead. Right. Bottom line. So it, it, it blows my mind sometimes that I have to convince people to advertise. I'm like, why am I even convincing you on this? <laughs> like you should be advertising no matter what, because you're a local business owner and, and, and your local audience depends on it. So Facebook advertising is what has made the most sense. You know, so I started you know, consulting in 2016 agents on doing that. And it just kind of took off. And, 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 and before you knew it, I started doing videos on YouTube, recording the actual, you know, call. And, and that's when, you know, I started, you know, getting a, a bigger buzz just because I was actually taking my role. That's how you found me, Brad. Cause like you came across calls that I'm actually doing with clients, walking them through from A to Z, keeping it simple, right? Keeping it simple. And, and, and that's how you found me. So I just started recording these types of calls on YouTube about it, about, I would say maybe, maybe about a year ago. And, and it kind of, I, I ended up attracting awesome people like you, man. 
where I just started documenting what I was doing. That's what my YouTube channel, I'm fired up about YouTube. I'm fired up about content, but putting it, putting that content on a platform that will eventually pay off in the long run. And that, to me, that's YouTube. There's probably other platforms, but to me, it's, 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 it's YouTube. Like that's, that's passive income too, Brad. I know you're a big passive income affiliate marketing type of guy. That is passive income, man. When you can build up a YouTube channel, put all your content here. But again, educate. If, you're, if you have anything to share, information, for example, video, for example, obviously here. I started doing that about a year ago, Brad. And, and that's kind of how it took off, man. You know? Well, YouTube is basically either information or entertainment. That's kind of what it's there for. Yeah, yeah. And you can combine the two and be a edutrainment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and, and I, I did so many calls with agents on these exact topics, right? And again, it doesn't matter what the topic is, whatever you guys are passionate about. That's why I tell people, I'm like, yes, I'm over here talking about digital marketing, Facebook ads, landing pages. But to tell you the truth, that's boring to 99% of people. It's only the 1% of the weirdos like the Brads that find that, that type of stuff cool, right? It's us, weird ones, right, Brad? Like we, there's a, that's why I tell, I tell people all the time, there's a niche for anything. I don't care if you're into knitting. If you love to garden, like I just got off of a, of, of a call, shout out to my buddy, Ron, Pastor Ron. He just launched on Kartra, he just launched a, um, a micro green, um, um, teaching you how to micro green, how to garden, how to, how to, how to, gr how to grow your own sprouts is what it is. Um, yes. Sproutingwithsteve.com is his actual webpage. But he just launched a course teaching people how to sprout. Sure. So it's like where we're at today, man, I tell people all the time, whatever you're fired up about, and if you're, and if you're, and if you're approaching it in a business, in any type of business, and you have information to share, share it on YouTube. That's how you found me, Brad. I started sharing this stuff on YouTube about a year ago, and, and from there, it kind of took off. You know, I think sometimes people overcomplicate this stuff, and also, yeah. like, uh, you, yep. know, like a, you know, like the combination lock, you know, a little to the, yep. to the right, a little bit to the left. If you don't know the combination, it's really hard to open those locks. But if you do know the combination, it's just easy. Mm -hmm. And I think people put too many numbers in there, make it all complicated. Like, like with the, when you mentioned the, the advertising where people don't advertise, I think it's because they think they're going to advertise and get a lead. When the reality is they're going to advertise and be known, liked, and trusted, then yes, the lead man. comes. Yes. You couldn't have said that better, Brad. God, I needed to hear that. <laughs> I needed to hear that. I needed to, I need to, I need to, 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 um, re-realize that myself it's right the like, simplicity like you're sprouting with steve guy to me that's three things it's plant the seed nurture the plant harvest the fruit so you just plant the seed of thought with the facebook ads and then they'll eventually get a relationship and then you gotta you get you gotta, you gotta make that relationship and let it build and build and then the lead falls off the tree so, you know, see it's, it's, yes Th that has been my whole little two-step you know, to helping, you know, business owners since 2016 is, is, is knowing that, that, that that's a simple little blueprint, but most try to overcomplicate it. Most try to try to post on every platform as if it matters when, when you should just be advertising and targeting your local market if you're a local business owner. If you're a nationwide brand, I tell, that's why I speak to agents a lot, a lot of real estate agents. I'm like, man, if you're building a global or if you're building a nationwide brand, Let's say you're a broker, you're a broker, you're building a nationwide brand, you're looking for people all over the country, you can do deals all over the country. That's when social media overall posting all the time makes sense. But if you're doing deals in your backyard, and those are the people you're only farming two zip codes, for example, or your local again, or your local yoga studio, and all your customers, all your monthly retaining customers are all in that local area. Yeah. Why are you, you know, posting on all these other platforms when it doesn't matter? So my whole passion, man, came from, from teaching people that. It's like, no, John, you're a local business owner. Let's run Facebook ads. Let's, let's do that whole like, 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 trust, and believe you factor, right, by running ads. And then let's get them to a, let's get them to a page like this to capture the lead. And that's when Kartra, you know, that's when I'm like, man, if Kartra is going to pay me as an affiliate and they're going to pay me a, a monthly residual income just to simply refer this, I'm like, dude, I can get fired up about that. Like this is a software that I need for my business. I, I, can, I can care less if anyone else uses it, but if they're going to pay me to tell Brad to use it, it's like, dude, why not? When I know Brad needs it for his business, you know, so affiliate marketing made sense to me when I can get around products that I can, that I can get fired up about, but that paid me also residually. I always have been a big residual income type of person. You know what I mean? On the topic of affiliate marketing, I think there's going to be a huge sweep of that kind of working 
Yes, so, of course. Because it's really just the middleman connecting people. Yes, so man. No matter, like you said, your friend, uh, the, the, the sprout thing, or if someone's a, a home brewery thing, or if someone is like knitting or whatever, the, whatever their passion might be, if it's yoga, it's just a matter of connecting your, your, your knowledge with someone that wants to take yoga and just bridge the gap. That's all it really yes. is. And, and nowadays, yes, man, this whole digital world has taken over, right? We are on a Zoom call. We are streaming live, right? This is a different, we're, we're in our home, right? Like, and we're, and we're being very productive. <laughs> and we're being very productive, Brad, right? Well, the, the, another step further on this is this is being recorded. It's going up to YouTube and it's going to be there until YouTube dies. Right. The longevity is there. And if we want to throw some gas in the fire, we can advertise to the video and get more traction to it. That, and that blows my mind. And so that's why, yeah, whether it's something you're fired up about and you start, you turn that into some type of, of part-time online, because that's why I tell my son all the time, my son's 12. He's into gaming. He's into YouTube. He follows people on YouTube that are 17, 18, 19 years old with 15 million subscribers, right? He's following these types of people who are gamers, right? Hold another, hold a, hold another niche. But it's like, man, I tell him, I'm like, you're either going to be the consumer of content of where we're at today, social media, digital internet world, you're either going to be a consumer or you're going to be a creator. I'm like, I'm like, it's cool to consume all this content all freaking day, but you eventually have to start creating. So I need you to have your own channel. If you want to be playing Xbox every day, you need to be recording these videos, uploading them and building this channel. Yeah, that, that's the least a, I'm going to ask. You can be you, a consumer right? and then you push the record button. Now you're a, you're a creator. Dude, that's all it takes, man. Oh, the is. fact that Brad pressed freaking record, he's now all of a sudden a creator and okay. Brad can scale that. And, 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 and you know what I mean? Like, it, it, and, and again, that brings me back to what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't matter what you're excited about. The fact that you're excited about something means that there's other people excited about that too. Now teach it, create it. You know, it's I think like, the, the most difficult part for this whole marketing online thing is, is one, it's patience because they got to take some time between planting the seed and harvesting the fruit, but it's also the product market fit. Like you said, people are advertising to people that aren't their customer because they're going global. You should line that up because like, the analogy I use is you got some, say you got a barbecue and they're selling uh, steaks and hamburgers and hot dogs and you're marketing to vegans and vegetarians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That ain't going to work. <laughs> so right? you got to line it up. And if you can line it up, there's that uh, affiliate commission in the middle for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just again, just overall, every business is shifting. Everyone's obviously pivoting in, in this critical time that we're, obviously in and it's like online is it's either going to be our best friend or our worst enemy you know what i mean it literally i i truly believe it has so much amazing power i look at it on the bright side right not looking at the dark web you know i'm looking at the bright side of everything you know it's like people can scale you can now scale like i truly believe someone's interested about in something and I'm, i truly believe someone has a passion in something and so what I'm fired up about today is, is, is having that person, again, that's where Karcher comes in, being able to package your knowledge, man, in the form of video, in the form of training video. All of a sudden, you're a coach, all because you have this experience in dating or all because you have this experience in baking or cooking or, again, knitting. It doesn't matter. Or you have this, this, you have this huge passion and excitement about business and you just want to talk about that all damn day. Right. But, but the fact that you can talk about it and you could park it somewhere and you can create an audience and people can find you that are also like minded. And, 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 and because, yeah, finances, because money makes the world go round, we find different offers. Right. Or we create different products that we can offer. So so either either you're going to be the creator and, and, and turn your knowledge into digital. That's what Karcher is for, man, teaching people how to, how to make an income selling their knowledge like that to me is amazing. And, and again, if, and if you can't, you know, if you're not doing something like that, then yeah, finding different affiliate offers and, and those, there's so many out there, but, well, but, but find the products that you're excited about is also what I'm saying. You know, don't, don't be an affiliate and, and, and market, you know, golf when you can't stand golf. Well, the, Why are the, you marketing different products? Now you can look at it for just the money. Of course, of course, but well, to the, stay long term, that's short lived though. Exactly. Yeah. That's short lived, man. To, to, to go long term and all in why not turn it into a lifestyle whatever the heck you're fired up the, on the passion will pull you through the hard time the passion will pull you through and i got that quote from um from from steve jobs you know he was the one that said said that i'm you know paraphrasing but he was the one that said that he's all dude you have to 
you have to build a business and something that you're you're fired up about because if you're not fired up about it you won't be motivated to do it right like if you if you're not fired up about it and, and that's why yeah it's i mean yeah we can go on for days about that one brand <laughs> well yeah. i really like the way that you're doing this stuff and um the ability to have something like Kartra as a place to, to get it done and then showing the, the real estate agents that they could do that too. So that when there's that dry spell and they're just not selling the houses and things aren't working, they're still making some residual recurring income with Kartra and these tools. And mm -hmm. there's other tools that they, that they can do with what's still within the real estate world. Um, there's a one that I'm working with. It's a referral app. When someone goes to a restaurant or a yoga studio or whatever, or even if they worked with a real estate agent, they give the five star review and say, Hey, if you ever want to, you know, you ever want to sell your house, call Debbie because she's number one. I give her five stars. Mm. It's, that's a, that's a recurring monthly income that a real estate agent could be able to use that. So they not, not only can they use it to, as a tool to get referrals from their customers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they can share it with other people like a mortgage broker or a developer or a flipper or a pizza restaurant or a florist. Mm -hmm, they can mm -hmm. build these other platforms. And then there's the other one uh, with the whole, you're out in San Diego where the sun shines, the whole solar element, you know, they can, they can earn recurring in income on that. Yes. That that's big, man. And that, that, that's why, again, back to these current times, we need multiple fishing poles out there, man. That's why, Brad, with you thinking the whole affiliate marketing, it's the most amazing thing. Go find a bunch of amazing affiliate offers and, and throw these fishing poles out, right? You yeah, need as good long bait. As, they're, as long as they're in alignment with whatever you're doing. Yep, you as long as they're aligned. Exactly, man. Exactly. That's when it makes sense. That's when it makes sense, but that's when it's easier. Like, I guess the reason why you're even, you know, gravitating to my, if that's even the right word, but the fact that you're attractive to my videos, my YouTube videos, the way, you know, it's, it, it's captivating you my different videos i think the reason for it is because of the fact that i'm just I, i'm just I'm, I'm just recording me like it's just it's just it's a freaking conversation right right and and so i and so whatever it may be like keep it real right keep it real and that's what what allows people to see you know that you're not you're not a joke well that's what i tell people when uh, i'm going to interview them they go well i'm not really good on video and i say it's just like sitting at a table across from a friend having a cup of coffee it is. Oh, it, is. it is. It is, man. It is. So everyone needs, yeah. Crazy times right now, Brad. So I'm, I'm just excited to be here with you, man. Well, I don't like to do these too long because that consumption of time, you've only got 24 hours in a day. So I'm going to sign this one off. If you want to stay on, we'll have another chat, but I know you've got things to do and I got, I got to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right okay. On, I'm going to sign this it. off. Hey folks, I appreciate you watching David. Thank you for, uh, yes, sir sharing your wisdom and knowledge. We'll talk soon. Peace.